Excuse me. Okay, so Bishop is on the line and Christine is on there. So that's great. Hello, everyone. Hello, my darling, how are you? I'm good, and you? I am wonderful. I um, missed the other meeting. I didn't even know I was with your group. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I noticed that you were on the list and I said, oh, I said, where is she? Didn't know. Didn't know I was on your list. Okay, so so that's you look beautiful, it. Queen. Thank you. Um, I was just telling a what's his name, the that person at the uh, I forgot his name. I'm you know so embarrassing. Um, that I'm at the Villa Roma upstate New York at a conference. So I you know I wanted to make sure that the meeting went on tonight. So I stepped away from the conference to come and chair the meeting. So hopefully we can, you know, get started in about five minutes and um, Debbie, how me. do you do it? I'm good. How do you do it? How do you <laughs> make all of these things? I don't know. Happen? Sometimes I ask myself, but, um, you know, I managed to do it with I know. faith and hope and everything else that comes with it. And, um, you know, I get it done. So... That's the, that's the most important thing. That's the most important thing, you know. So, you get it done. The family's yeah. okay? Yes, everybody's fine. How about your end? Everybody is good. We have one down um, with cancer, and I should have. Oh flew my out. God, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. This cancer thing, this cancer thing, you know, it's like. Yeah. Oh. One down, but, but, but we are hoping for the best. Okay, well, that's, that's a good thing. Yeah, that's up, uh, other than that, everything else is fine. That's good. You look great. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I, well, you see, oh, I'm not at a conference, but you don't want to see where I'm at. Oh, my Cause, God. Because it's just refrigerator and, you know, cabinets. It's a kitchen. Uh -huh. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> are, are you? Are you saying that you're cooking while you're on the meeting? No, I'm not. I'm saying that's the only place that I can be where you can hear me okay. and I can hear you. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. That's my location. Okay. So that's good. <laughs> All right. So let me mark you present. And Thank you. Christine. Hello. Hi. How are you? Doing well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So I said uh, at 7.10, we're gonna start the meeting. Um, so about three, in about three minutes, we're gonna get going because I have to get back to my uh, other meeting. 
I, I want to go to a conference like this. <laughs> the walls look like they're they are all cushioned, and the, the the daisies are just smiling. Yeah, you saw the you see the flowers that the, the yeah. Um, yeah, and the wall. Look at the wall. Yeah, I found this little quiet space upstairs here, and you know, it's like I'm the only one here except for maybe one other person on the other side in the bar. But it's nice and quiet up here, and beautiful rugs, and you know, very nice. I I I I know <laughs> you 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 look very important there too. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> yes, yeah. only important places can look like this. Yes, yes. So. You know. Are you in New York or out? It's upstate New York because we were coming in on the bus and I saw the deers and the horses. And so See? to give you an idea as to where I am, I it's, know. it's in the middle of nowhere, but you know, there's a lot of um, like farms and stuff up this way. You're in the boondocks. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Away from, you know, all the noise and yeah. <laughs> so it's a good thing for the weekend. Yeah. I tell you. Yeah. So, you know, I was hoping that everybody would be here tonight. Well, you know, uh, well, I know it's Yom Kippur, right? Oh, well, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if, and well, maybe Vivian. No, is on well, here. That was yesterday. That's over. That was yesterday. Yeah. That's um, over. So, Vivian, Israel. Uh, Matthew Bur Brumbach, I don't know who he is. Zachary Thatcher, I don't know who he is. So there's only what, four people that's missing. So actually we do have a quorum to, you know, go ahead and do the meeting and um, get it over with. Uh, you know, I'm not going to procrastinate the meeting. Uh, so it, okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna call the meeting to order at 7, 10 p.m. What do we and, need for a quorum? Just to just to ask. Well, there's seven. Uh, there's eight people on the committee. Oh, okay. So I'm saying half is a quorum. So or half a, is a quorum. I would say a half, or maybe five, but half I believe should be a quorum. So we have four. Actually, we should. Yeah, we should have maybe one more person, but um, I think half is good enough to just go ahead. With the meeting, um, the last time we there were only what three of us, and we you know we had a good discussion. So I'm hoping that um, maybe someone else will join us, or maybe a couple other people while we're okay. So seven ten, and um, Bishop, of course, you know I wouldn't start this meeting unless I have a word of encouragement from you you as stated on the agenda. So I'm gonna give you the floor right now. Yeah, I need a word of encouragement. Thank you. Bishop, are you there? I am right here, darling. Okay, great. It has been a line, a long journey. Lines of expectations, lines of hope, lines of commitment, and finally those lines of deliverance. We just want to thank the almighty creator that those are lines that we are able to hold on steadfastly to when we are working with and for our community, for its expansion, for its growth and development. Lines that we hold on to. These lines are the lines that help us so that we can move forward under the leadership of Debbie to grasp the reality that is lying before us right now. That there are so many of our members in community that are in pain. A great storm has knocked our, our state. A great storm has knocked our people. A great storm has taken lives. And attributing to that storm is global warming. So tonight as we speak, 
As we speak about the environment, we are asking the eternal and most gracious God to show us the way to find solutions to those problems that we can see and to search out those that we might yet to find and that God will give us the strength to accomplish all that we set out to do. We are grateful, eternal God, for our spirit life. We are grateful for our family. We are grateful for CB9 and its leadership. And we are grateful tonight that we can speak with each other, plan with each other, support each other, and in the final analysis, accomplish our goal with each other. Mm -hmm. Thank you, eternal God. And may your blessing continue to be with us even after this night and this hour and take our leader back home safely. Anoint her from the crown of our head unto the sole of our feet. Take Debbie home safely so we can continue this journey holding on to these powerful lines that will bring us to glory. And so it is, and so it shall be. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for that word. Okay, so introductions would be next on our agenda. Uh, my name is Debbie Timothy, and I am the chair of the uh, Environmental Protection Committee at CB9. Uh, Teresa, you can go, or Christine, whichever. Oh, Bishop, you okay. Christine is only a uh, resident community member, um, second meeting, happy to be here. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Debbie, I will go ahead and when I yes, can, go ahead. when I can show my picture, I will show it. No problem. But I want you to hear me because <laughs> the, the one that's the one that's the one that's on there is, all, is just as beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so I am um, Bishop Gonzalez and I just want to say being with um, CB9 has been a real, a real experience for me. We have gotten so many things done. We have walked through many storms and now I think there's a light at the end of this tunnel for us. And I'm just glad that we're here to continue the work that we have started. Thank you. You're Teresa? welcome. Hi, I'm Teresa Westerdahl. I'm a new member of the community board. This is my second year serving on the Environmental Protection Committee. Last year I served as a, a community member like Christine did. So I'm interested in, in what we do here. So ready to, to get to work with all of you. Okay, thank you. Okay. So we, next on the agenda, well, I've already done roll call on you guys all, have all been marked present. Uh, so that's, I'll put a check next to that. Uh, the next would be appointment of committee officers. Um, we need a vice chair and a secretary for this committee, this very small committee. I must, say that in the past I've done my own minutes because we could never get a secretary or you know someone to vice chair so well, didn't Christine is now open volunteer? I think Christine volunteered for the Christine volunteered right for so secretary or I nominate Christine? her I nominate Christine for us secretary Christine would you accept that Nomination? Uh, yes, I will accept. Okay, Thank you. great. So that's Christine. And that's secretary. Any candidates for vice chair? I, I did it last year. So unless Bishop would like to do it, I'd be fine, you know, to, but I'll, I'll, I'll do it because it was, it was, it was good. I, I, and I think it's a good idea because if you did it last year, it means that we can, you know, work on some of the things that fell off the track from last time. It's just nice to have a backup too, like 
I know that it, uh, it is. It Chris, is. Kristen couldn't make it a few times, so I just would would go. That was, you know, and just do whatever needed to be said for our update okay. at the exec board meeting. I think one or two times. Yes. Yes. I'm okay. willing to do that again because I, I go anyway. So I'll back you up. However you okay, need. great. So we have Vice Chair Teresa and Secretary Christine. Thank you for that. So we will check that off. And um, so now I'm going to open the floor and open in the floor to more or less get a sense as to our short term goals, our long term goals, and our few, any future activities that we may want to have. Uh, on this, you know, on this committee, on behalf of our community and CB9. So the floor is open for discussion. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to say a few things that I, I, I thought about, um, you know, in terms of um, the winter coming on and things that may have been persistent during the year that you know, is still pending, you know. Um, so I would like to more or less work on some of those things, whether it's reaching out to the um, city uh, environmental protection, you know, agency, you know, to find out what what is the status and things like that. I would like to, I like walking through the community to get a sense as to what's going on. When I was on the transportation committee, uh, we walked through the uh, committee on sat I mean, the community on Saturdays um, to get a sense as to, you know, the things that were not in line with, you know, what they should be. And we made notes and reached out to um, Department of Transportation. And, you know, we tried to get some of those things done. So, I'm hoping that, you know, we can do the same for this. Or if, you know, I know that we're probably spread out throughout the community. So, I mean, if there are things in your area that you see that is, you know, needs to be looked at, you know, we can um, speak about that and, you know, try to get those things taken care of before, you know, anything major should happen. So those are the things that I would like to you know, work on as a, you know, the chair of this committee. So I will, you know, open the floor to anyone else who has ideas. Um, you know, so th those are my long-term long -term goals. Short-term girls would be to more or less gather all this information and try to put it, you know, outline it and get a sense as to how to move forward on it. So that's, you know, um, Future activities, I haven't thought about any yet. Um, so hopefully, you know, something can come to mind that we can um, maybe put out there and have, you know, residents give input or join in whatever it may be. So I'm going to open the floor to you guys so that you can give your input. I know, mm -hmm. Teresa, the last time you mentioned some things that were outstanding that you guys worked on. So hopefully, you know, we can, um, I, you know, gather, get a list together and try to, you know, work on those things as well. So do we have a contact at the city EPA? Um, my contact is always the commissioner. I don't, I don't, I hit the head first. Okay. So that's where I go. So, um, so one of the should we say a, a short-term goal is contacting the city EPA and getting someone finding out who can do a walkthrough with us in the neighborhood? That's what you uh, were saying. We, we can do that, but we need to identify what those issues are before we mm -hmm. need to have a list, uh, you know, of those issues and, you know, so that we can have something to present um, to do this walkthrough. Let's say the walkthrough may be in several different areas of the community. You know, they may not be able to do all of those walkthroughs so that we can break it up and have it done in different at different times. So we need a list and, you know, to get a sense as to where they are. And then we can move forward on, you know, maybe trying to get a walkthrough with them. So you would um, 
prefer to have a list of issues first and bring them through to address them. Exactly. As opposed to um, having them come through with us and say, well, these are the problems that have been brought up. Is there a way to find out like um, previous complaints that were brought up to them? Well, that would be Theresa. Theresa, um, do you have any comments on that? Well, we never contacted the uh, EPA about anything. And, no? And no, we, we didn't, I think that wasn't something we did. We worked on the letter um, that was sent out about the, uh, we worked on uh, the, the trash situation in the neighborhood with uh, getting more cans and we wrote, we wrote the so letter. That, that's what DSNY. So we are talking about the DEP? Yes, sir. Um, yeah, this so, is so with DEP, I would say like sewers, drains, you know, water problems that may, you know, affect us. The winter is coming, you know, things like that. Because so I we noticed when it rains and you're going through across from one side of the street to the other, there's always ponding in these areas right there where you have to walk. So there's something going on in those areas that needs to be looked at. You know, I know when they paved the roads, I don't know if that's taken into consideration, but there's always, you know, ponding going on in those areas. Well, we worked on the letter that was eventually approved after many meetings with ourselves and mm -hmm. um, with the community board. So that, that took a while. We, we okay. did work on the, like people came and talked to us about uh, flooding issues. Yes. And we worked on that. We actually, I think did a good job with that as well. The um, like what was happening was, you know, we went through a period where cars weren't moving, streets yeah. weren't being swept, right? The leaves were collecting and the junk in the, in that was causing more flooding. Yes. So I think that's something we need to be aware of and keep on. But it's it's better now. But with fall coming, that might that's a community concern. And I don't know how other people did with the rain, but I know in, in other storms. It wasn't so great for some of our neighborhood, especially like the, I live a little bit up, but in the lower, you know, like Lefferts area. I know Suki came and talked about that, um, about that one time. You know, there's some flooding areas in our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So we talked about bike, bike lanes. Somebody came and talked to us about um, bike lanes they wanted to put in and, what people did or didn't like. Like some people feel that it's good. Some people feel that it blocks emergency services and causes uh, traffic jams, especially I know the, the bike lane on, um, I think it's Parkside was mentioned has blocking services. So somebody did come from a transit organization and spoke to us. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe we could have somebody I, I do love your idea about doing a walkthrough. It would be great if we could have somebody from the EPA come and talk to us because I'm, I'm really, gr one of the things that was a concern is these different development sites, like what happens and they don't, they don't do abatement for, you know, like, like lead and asbestos, you know, and that like the, the site, the old Firestone site on Empire, that's particularly right. alarming. Like what happened yeah. there? Like there was no abatement done. There was nothing, nothing, you know, I looked at, you know, just, they just smashed it down, you know, and didn't do anything that they're supposed to, as far as I know, but I didn't know who to contact or how to deal with it. And, you know, I'm very interested in looking at what is being developed, what's being demolished, what's being dug up. I know that, that site over on Franklin, like that site, there's some there's some major contamination in that site. There was like a 60 page, page report that that they had done the study of that that showed it's very alarming that they were they were going to dig that up and then it got shut down because of that that lawsuit, that the pro se lawsuit. So they had to shut that down. That happened last year during, you know, during our session too. So um, I would just like us to be able to, to know and inform our communities about what to do at these sites when these, when these demolitions start happening, because people don't know. And there's several of my neighbors, like the funeral home, they were demolishing it and they weren't doing things properly. They weren't, they're supposed to put these little meters at the house to see if it's like, 
you know, shaking, I think they're called sismeters or something for like the, Oh, okay. So they, they never did that. And that was supposed to happen. And they, they were not doing things properly. And both of those sites, like neighbors complained, you know, some people like, um, some people are, are, are older and they need support. And I would like to be able to support them better. Like the, you know, the, the, do you know the artist that, that made the, the brass, um, the brass dogs in, in the park? What's his name? He's my neighbor. He lives on Sullivan. Was talk? Yeah. You know who I mean? Mr. Um, he had a show recently at the, at the art gallery. Uh-huh. Now, anyway, he's an older, he's one of the people, my friend Inez, they're, they're all affected by that, that building behind them and things were not going properly and they didn't know how to deal, how to deal with it. And it got shut down and then they're back and they're, they, they were operating when they're, when they're, when they have a stop work order, things like that. And I, I, I need some, I would like some help with that and knowing what we can do. So. Okay, so I would say that, you know, though, if though I, I hear two things that you bought or you spoke about. So, I mean, what are the questions? I mean, if you can write like maybe a summary or, or, or just get general information on those two sides and maybe some of the concerns that are being raised about those two sides, then we can, you know, bring it up to maybe, you know, the, um, the, Bar service, I mean, not bar service, but the um, service. There's a, me a, a monthly meeting that happens at the uh, community board and um, all of the uh, all of the agencies, there's supposed to be someone there representing them. Oh, really? I didn't know about that. Yes. So, so uh, where does, where would that information come from of what construction is going to start and where, where is the central, like, resource for those reports that like Teresa referenced the 60 page report and and where where does that well, if, come about I'm, about I'm that? sure that that would fall under the department of buildings right but I I've, I'm frequently on the department of building sites I'm a construction worker um, yes. and it is not easy to navigate and it's not easy to get information off of so oh, if, if you if you I, look I, up the, if you look up ahead. a site you need to um you need to have specifics on the site. It won't tell you particularly, oh, there is a project that is going to start. These are the list of things that are going on in your community. You have to know an exact site address to, to look up any information. Well, well, I would think that most of those things would come through the community board. They're supposed to be provided with information about these uh, things and they should be passed on to the different committees so okay. that the committees know what's going on. I don't know whether anything was passed on about that, but um, like I said, if Teresa can come up with information on you know, those two things that she spoke about, where they're located and some of the concerns that's being raised, then maybe we can start there and try to find out more. Um, you know, If the community board didn't get anything, then we would wanna know why, because it's in our community. So that's the number one question. And then we can take it further because we weren't informed and we should be informed about these things. So yeah. things like that, you know, I would like to, you know, you know, compile all these things. And, you know, if we have to draft letters and send them out on behalf of community board, you know, then that's what we're going to do. Yeah, it would be good if we had, if you know the commissioner of the EPA, if you could. I can talk. find out all that. That's yeah, not an issue. Yeah, have somebody come and talk to us, that would be. We can do that. But like I said, we need to compile this information so that when they come, they know what we're talking about. And, you know, we can move forward with information that we, we, we have on paper and see where it goes from there. If those so, sites are not going through the community board, if they're if they're building as of right, they don't have to have anything to do with the community board. They just do what they want, but they're supposed to follow guidelines. And I don't know how to like look at it and say, well, this is wrong. Who do I call? That's just like I don't know. And it seems okay, like so, so. But you but you do have concerns, and as you said, you have some neighbors that have concerns as well. Yeah, it's, so it's pretty serious, you know, what's happened. It's like, 
it's like asbestos was like what happened with 9-11 and then so many people exactly had cancer and at the beginning of this conversation you ladies were talking about friends that have had cancer and yeah. it's a part of environmental justice as well yes. in this neighborhood where we're people in in this area are being exposed you know to hazardous materials because things are happening here that wouldn't happen in other neighborhoods you know, they're, they're just not doing what they are supposed to do at these sites. Okay, so again, you know, if you can... I don't, I don't, I don't know. Look at if my, you can I'm come getting, up with... I'm getting the, all sweaty. My glasses are getting sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> so again, if you can come up with that information, then maybe we can, you know, try to, you know, have them look into it and see what, or try to answer some of the questions that people, the concerns that people may have. Can I ask what the parameters of environmental protection are you know what i mean like they're like, so we were talking about sewers and drainage and we were talking about um aerosolization of uh construction and demolition materials and so is it just is is there a specific um okay, where, so okay this is where this stops and this begins or is it just like you know a general idea of environmental care I would say general idea. Okay. And if you if you notice on the agenda, I included some links that you know for you guys to look at because I looked at some of it and um, you know there's a lot of information on there. Okay. That's helpful. So yeah, I included that on the uh, agenda. So that would be good. You know, if you guys can take a look at that. And, I guess um, like Earth yeah. Day and stuff like that, we could do something fun once. I didn't hear what was that? Oh, I just hope that we're we could do something fun one time, like you know, Earth Day celebration. Or... Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that would be good. We can always, you know, come up with something and try to do something around that. We can always blast out. Um, also, I know we did a community garden cleanup at um yes. the school across from Ebbets Field. So if anyone has a community garden cleanup, we can always share that. And it doesn't have to be only community garden. It can be, I mean, some of the streets, some of the you know, you see some of the bushes Correct. growing all over the place on, you know, at the bus stops and all these places, you know, so oh. there's a lot, lot to be done, you know, it's just. Um, I, I know last time too, like, we, you, I forget things, but if you read over the, the minutes, I remember uh, Christian LeBeau had applied for some type of a grant and got some grant and was going to, uh, that grant was supposed to go to garbage cans and like helping some, uh, build some small garden areas I, I don't really remember what he got it for and what it was going to do but that that was something that they did too like he became treasurer so he's trying to find out how to he's trying to get more funding you know for the community board to do projects like that right yeah well there are some things that he needs to put in place before he can you know apply for some of those fundings that was he never applied done. And, he, and he got them he got one he was, no, but I'm saying he, he's treasurer now through the community board. Right. So he has there some information that needs to be put in place. Um, I know because I was treasurer before him. And, um, oh, okay. So, and it was never done. So all of those things has to be put in place before he can apply for those, those grants. So hopefully they can get it done now and um, we can, uh, he can um, apply for some of those grants through. Um... So, so these issues, these goals we're gonna try to work on. Um, I mean, obviously we have uh, some of our own ideas, but uh, how are, um, did anyone say anything at the community board general meeting? I was away, I couldn't attend um, last month. Did anyone bring up any environmental concerns? Any community members? Uh, no. 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 They were not brought up. We we were mentioned though because well, if, yeah because there's this there's this gentleman who came to one meeting last year and what he wants is he wants to change the parking on his particular block he wants it to be like it was just two times switching a week instead of four and he wants to get that change so he went to transportation committee transportation committee sent him to like the main board then they send him to us. And then we send yeah. him back to the main board. He's been like through the ringer and it's really, it's really not our issue. And what came out of that is there's like a reg, there's like how it works is your area has to have a 
high percent of cleanliness when it's evaluated two times in a row. They evaluate like a general big area. And if your mm -hmm. area is, passes this grade of like, I think it's 90 or 95 percent cleanliness, it, it's online, you can find it. I'm sorry, I don't remember it exactly. But then you can apply to have this done. Like some people, some groups in Park Slope have done it, but it, it's quite difficult. And it's like, you have to just work on keeping your whole neighborhood clean. They won't just yeah. do it for a small area. You know, they won't do it like that. That's not how right. it's And unless they get policy changed, um, that's never gonna happen, you know, mm -hmm. but unless we can really work as a community together and keep things clean. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's kind of difficult with some of the businesses because, you know, they they, they don't always do what they need to do, so. Yeah, having well, more, I, more cans, and more programs for garbage cans, you know, that helps. Um, I definitely have a concern. I mean, I live in Ebbets Field. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the building, but they don't recycle at all. What? They don't recycle. There are seven oh buildings. Oh, my God. And they don't recycle. I'm surprised. Yeah. So that has been a problem of mine for years, and I've called 311 many times, but maybe now at this level, I'll be able to so is there any reason why it. they're not recycling um because they it's if if the wrong things end up in recycle you get fined for it right so they just decided it was cheaper to pay i guess the fine for not recycling than to pay oh the fine God. for having trash so wow. um, oh, yeah and it's it's such, it's terrible i mean the the amount of stuff that is not being or doesn't doesn't even have an opportunity to be recycled there's no recycling area in the basement where you can go drop it off there's no nothing so they should have bins where you know yeah you correct. Can put your recycling in in whether it's a blue bin or whatever you know and um you know do it that way i don't understand yeah but wow i i so they'd rather pay the fine yeah I guess oh, no. that's, uh, that's, that's cheaper, it's cheaper. Yeah, but it's you know, screw, screw the environment, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. You even, can't even be just making one thing and you're doing something else, even just make an area in the basement to yes. for people who want to do it possible because everything goes down the trash compactor, so there's no really oh of, of what is or isn't you know recycled, it's just garbage. So is it burned? Like, what do they do with it? It, it, it goes is... right into black bags. It's a compactor, and then the compactor, um, the compacted trash goes into black bags, and it goes into the garbage area. Oh right. my god! Uh, so, wow. No, no effort at all to recycle. That's amazing because that's a huge building. Huge. Yes. Yeah. Thir over thirteen hundred apartments. Yeah. Thirteen. Huge building. So I would wow. love to find out what I can do about that. <laughs> well, that's, that would be, is, is uh, Abbotsfield Federal? That falls under Federal? But I, um, it's, in terms it's of privately recycling, owned. I would think that Abbotsfield ESN, well, I would have something to do with that. Abbotsfield is privately owned, yeah. Really? I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, it switched from Mitchell Lama, right? Like to a private owner, maybe like oh, wow. two years ago. That's amazing. Wow. It's still stabilized, which is good, but. <laughs> it's privately owned. Yeah, there's. Well, there's... That, might be, that might be a tough call. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But they're still operating in the community and they're still have to follow the rules of the community, whether it's privately owned or, or publicly owned or federally owned. Well, that, 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 that would be true, but I don't understand how they get away with it. Yeah, me either. Yeah, rules <laughs> like there must so be. So that would be something rule. to bring up. <laughs> wow, I don't know what the regulations are. Who oversees that sanitation? I would. Yeah, the SNY. Okay, I. I would... Yeah, this is a so, shocker. So, so, so maybe yeah, that would be something that maybe, like I say, the um bar service cabinet um that dante you know is he's one of the people that you know attend these meetings um it's done monthly 
And uh, maybe that's a question that, you know, should be raised there so that one of um, the SNY, you know, staff or liaison can, you know, respond to it or, you know, take it back. And, you know, maybe we can find out more about that. Because I never knew that that was happening. Because I, I, I mean, I make sure that I separate my garbage faithfully. So I, I can't imagine that, you know, I just heard this. Yeah, I tried to, I bring the bottles back to the um, distributor or, you know, the soda cans back to the, wow. the store just so I can recycle. Because yeah. I'm, I'm really shocked, you know. <laughs> and it I'm breaks really my heart shocked. because you see those little Chinese ladies and men yeah. in the city and all over collecting the cans and bottles. I mean, okay, so then tell them when you, you know, you have recycling and they can come and get it. I yeah. mean, there, there, there are options, not just to throw it in a black bag and you're telling everybody else that they need to, you know, separate their garbage. I mean, come on. Yeah, um, wow. Okay, I would, I would, I would like to know more about, learn more about that. Is that common in big apartment buildings to not do that? I mean, I, I've, I've, never, I've never lived in a really big building. I've, I've never heard of that. And, 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 you know, I'm hoping that that's the only building that's doing that. Um, you know, because I've always thought that everybody was recycling. Wow. So, it's yeah. just a wow moment. Yes, Imagine it is a wow moment. Coast coast. It's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of bottles. It's a lot of bottles, a lot of cans, a lot of laundry containers, a lot. Wow. Think, think of everything you recycle. So paper, there's no way to recycle paper. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, we have a like, we have like a can a week, you know, both to put out yeah. on Friday. Like we'll put it out tonight after I get off this meeting. Wow, I can't imagine a big development like that, and they don't have a solution to that problem. They don't. They don't. They're not trying to have a solution. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would just. I guess they don't not. want a solution. They're just getting away with it. So. Wow. Whatever. Well, I would, I would definitely pose that question to the SNY to find out what has been done to, you know, find a resolution or if any has been done, you know? So that's something that I would, like I say, present to Sudante so that he can bring it up at the next um, Borough Service Cabinet meeting to find out more. Yeah, that would help us a lot. Yeah, so that's what I would, you know, that's what I would do with that one because I can't imagine you know, this building not recycling. Yeah. Now, now Debbie, I, I'm not sure how this would fit, but you yes. know, when they're demolishing um, a building, mm -hmm. rodents, rodents, oh, yeah. those big rats yeah. um, are running all over. And I noticed that in Williamsburg, Right. They have those traps, the big traps. Yeah, the big black put. boxes. Yes. Yeah, because we, we need have to put some, some out Crown Heights. We need yeah, some we, in Crown Heights. We had to put some of those out in, in our area there. Yeah. Because they were running all over while they were doing the, 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 the sewer when they were adding those uh those pipes in there on no yes. and in, in the yeah. They you were know all about over. the the Rat Academy? Do you know about the yeah. Rat Academy? Yeah, I think they have a meeting coming up sometime soon. I've, I've been to a couple of their seminars and I actually called them once because I wanted them to do something with us and they were very, very happy to do something in, in our area. So they have these online seminars that, that are pretty good that yes. uh, get, teach you how to, because we had, because of those buildings, you know, that are close, I live close to, of its field, we had a lot of rats and you have to do more than, you know, the boxes help, but it's it's more of like, you know, how you make an environment unfriendly to rats. I like that analogy, right. like as if they're having, you have your home and you want your things a certain way, they want the same thing. So you have to make things uncomfortable for them to not want to be, yeah. you know, in your ground or area. But we could have them come and talk to us. But you know, and I and I'm also, really, yeah, go ahead. I'm interested in the EPA talking to us. Well, I really. Want and also, I mean, if if it, um, 
Bishop, if you know the parameters of the area you're talking about, we can also ask Department of Health to, you know, look into that area as well. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So okay. it sounds like we're touching a lot of organizations, right? The EPA, yes. Department of yes. Buildings, DSNY, Department of Health. Yes, and, just and Department of Health, yeah. That's that's a lot of a lot of connection and a lot of yes. Uh, wow. Okay. Maybe we better we could focus on just you know get two. There's there's only four of us here, so yeah. Um, figure out. We we doing. also did have we have oversized raccoons that are oh eating um, our vegetables. Yeah, we definitely need garden. to have the Department of Health and Where is that? In right. my backyard. Really? Oh, no. They need to come out and check that out because if somebody gets bitten, you know. Yeah, they're very know. dangerous. They have distemper now. They have these yes. distemper infections from dogs. Be, be, be more here. worried if you see them during the day. Yes. Not no, so much because they're not the If they're awake during the day, it's, it's they're more likely to be dangerous or infected. Yeah, so. Yeah, so we have, you know, a few agencies that we can, you know, reach out to in terms of some of these ongoing issues. So in terms of short-term goals, what are we looking at? Um, I thought about, you know, the whole compile, I mean, compiling the list of things that we think are, needs to be addressed um, yesterday, <laughs> you know, and um, so, I mean, I'd be happy to compile if, you know, people can just send their information to me or send it to the board and they can send it to me. Um, so that at least we have the information in one place and um, it's not all over the place. So we have a sense as to you know, what we're looking at and what we would like to see happen in those areas. Um, should we, I, I, I mean, I know we all, ha all have um, ideas and um, issues that are obvious in the community and that we've yes. all experienced and brought up. Um, mm -hmm. is, is there, do you think there's a way we can kind of focus or something that will help us focus, maybe asking other community boards or other community board members or other community members, um, some kind of way we can, like if we had to rank one, two, and three mm -hmm. of, of our issues or of something else that we hadn't even thought of. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, with, like you said, with only four of us, we're not getting the input of so many people um, and obviously the things we brought up are very important um, but there might be something we don't know about like, I, I don't know I don't know how to do more so so, more so in the minutes the minutes I did generate some minutes um, from the first meeting um, I asked you know board members if they had any information that they knew about um, to pass the information on to us so I'm hoping that people did read that information and will do so and we can always mention it again at you know the next um you know the next full board meeting you know okay. or again yeah just bring it to the attention of um dante so that he can mention it at the um bar service cabinet meeting um and see where you know where we can how far we can take this and get it addressed. So we do have some. So do, do we um, do we have enough short term goals for like everyone to take one, or is that what we want to do? Um, well, I mean, if if Teresa can you know put like I say put her information on paper and we can you know compile. If you have information, if. Bishop has information, she has that rat information. So we can just, you know, compile everything and, you know, try to get it addressed in, you know, in that way. Whether we have to use all of those agents, different agencies that we mentioned, Department of Health, 
So at least we have everything in one place and we can, you know, reach out to the Department of Health um, or, you know, the uh, DEP um, and, you know, try to work on some of these things. So what are the, what are the short-term goals we're looking to work on at the minute? Well, for me, I mentioned the drains in the area, in the community, because sometimes I pass by some of these different areas and I get like a stench. Okay. So I don't know what is garbage. I know on Notion Avenue by the, um, between Sterling and Empire, I know if you look at the grid there where the bus stop is, you can see a lot of garbage there at times. And when it rains, the water is supposed to go through that area, but it winds up going out in the street because it's so backed up. So some of those things need to be looked at. I mean, God forbid we should get a lot of rain like we did, you know, um, a few a couple of days, days ago. ago. Yeah, and um, you know, what would happen? So do you think we should all like, between now and our next meeting, just try to keep an eye out for ponding and, and issues with trains. I then think so, come, yes. Come back yes. and report. Yes. Okay. I remember other people complaining about that area, that particular area. I think there's something they, they, the construction they did there was done incorrectly. Is okay, it is so then it, No Strand and Sterling? Between Sterling, Sterling Street and Empire? Yeah, I think I know what you mean. I think this. Do you know Maxine, the woman Maxine Barnes? Yeah, she lives on my block. Yeah, she she brought that up. Um, she's brought that up before, and I think you should talk to her if you know her. She said there there was some when they did that bus stop. They they were supposed to be fixing it, but it doesn't seem like they did. If you say it's still okay, so that's something that we need to inquire about because apparently. If she bought it up and nothing was done now, it means that it's still pending, it's outstanding. So, you know, hopefully, you know, um, as I remember taking pictures, it was raining one day and I saw all the water and all the, when I looked, I saw all the garbage under the grid. So there was no way for the water to go down. Yeah, so, where the bus stop is, right? Yes. Yeah, I, yes. I, I, I looked, I saw that too, you know, I went over there and actually looked because she, I can't remember if she complained in a computer board meeting or came to one of our meetings, but she, she, I did hear her talking about that. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's something that needs to be looked at as well. All right. And, um, um so what was the other thing you said? Um, Well, oh, um, I just had to know what letter were you discussing before, Teresa, when you said you had a letter that um, took a while to get through the community board? Let me, I, I thought I had it. Let me look here because um, I thought I had it here because um, I actually brought the letter to that fair, but um, Fred, like if we had to like vote on it and Fred had to sign it. Oh, here. Here it is. Dear, it's like a community board nine. It's a, a letter. Dear community council members Hudson, Rita Joseph, and Darlene Mealy. And it's it's quite a long letter. Um, it would be in, in the notes where um, you know, Fred signed it and the board had to approve of this letter. And I know we were waiting to hear back from these council people and I don't know if we ever did. There was a, a woman that was on this committee last year um, her name was Martina. She she worked on this pretty in, intensely with uh, Kristen and everybody in the committee last year weighed in on it, you know. And we it took it took a lot of our meeting time. And what is it regarding? Just the gist of it. Yeah, it was just year, about the that. Environmental Protection Committee has worked to identify environmental impacts in the district. The committee developed a number of recommendations to address sanitation issue, issues in the community district nine, which were adopted at the March uh, 2022 general meeting of Brooklyn Community Board nine. The recommendations were the purchase of additional wire basket trash receptacles through capital and or discretionary funds and to request funding in the city budget 
for additional trash pickup days in CB9 and working with the Department of Sanitation to fully enforce regulations for residents, commercial properties to regularly clean their sidewalk area extending 18 inches into the curb and supporting the implementation of a pilot of the clean curbs program, which is on street containerized trash program for commercial waste in commercial quarters. The program is administered by the Department of Sanitation in collaboration with the Department of Transportation and supporting the enforcement of existing alternate side parking rules. Um, see, okay. it's, it's like, a, you know, it goes on, but it's it's basically that, you know, you, so you I guess, it. but it, it yeah, was so I guess. an intense process of development, this letter. So obviously one of our short-term goals has to be following up on that. Right. And and seeing, so it was Crystal Hudson, who else? Um, just the, the, our city, the city council people for our area, which are Crystal Hudson, Rita Joseph, and Dar Darlene Mealy. I, I don't know. Yeah, those are council I really, members. I don't really know her. I guess she's still in office. Yeah, she just, ran, she ran again and she won, won um, the last election. So those okay. are all the council members in our districts. And I guess that has to do with the, tra the trash cans that they requested, because I know CB9 took some of our resources and bought some cans as well. Um, so uh, I don't know if the um, Department of Sanitation provided any, any additional pick. Yeah. Yeah, for any of those cans, but. Um, so I would those, would those council members have that information or would, how would we know what the original information was to see if it was changed at all? And where would we get that information? I know Crystal put out some more cans with some capital, with some money, like after this letter, but she, I don't think anybody ever acknowledged it. I'm not sure. You should ask Dante, you know, if, okay, it, so, if it was acknowledged. So I'll, I'll ask, um, call the CB and ask for all the information that pertains to that particular issue. Yeah, and if you could, I think if you could get get the letter sent to every everybody on the on our committee oh, please. okay if don you could ask dante yeah, to i'll please. ask him to send That'd all be great. the information to everyone yeah. the letter that you were, you were referencing right that you were reading from Teresa. yeah the, the letter because yeah. it, it goes on i guess you know it's and what's the date of that letter sure. again it's march Mar it's may 9th 2022 was the date that it was you know fred it's, it's signed at the end by fred you know, and then CC, it was CC to Adams, Crystal, Rita, Darlene, uh, Antonio Reynoso, Commissioner Jess, Jessica Tish, and Superintendent Rice. Okay. So yeah, everybody should have a copy of this, you know, sent to them. Okay, so yeah, so I'll ask, I'll call Dante, uh, not tomorrow, but Monday. And I, I do have to say that, um, Dante did with that, with the money that, there was a lot of money that our board had at the beginning because we weren't paying for a, a dis, you know, like his job before he filled it was empty for years. And we kept sending hundreds of thousands, it was like a hundred thousand dollars, I think, sent back to the city. And then he was able to keep quite a bit of money one year. And then he bought all these cans and we actually had one, but it disappeared. These these the nicer garbage cans that were very effective in uh, reducing rats, I think. So well, yeah, we did that, and then we got some more, and then Crystal was able to use some of her budget to get more for the that upper area. So there was they did mark some places to put these cans, like there was meetings about these cans last year. We did a lot last year, I guess. You know, I just, I'm so. Well, what happens with a fiscal fiscal year funding? If the money is not spent by a certain time, um, you know, it goes back to the city. So yeah, so um, I'm happy that he spent it on that because that is definitely an improvement for everybody. And everybody right. wants one of those cans now. Yeah. 
So um, Bishop had also mentioned um, the boxes, the rat boxes near the construction sites. Is that something we want to work on short term and have like the rat academy be a long term? Yeah goal or an event is that more of an event or a long-term goal the rat academy i don't know if we need to do that. if you guys want to do it i've done it like several times i've, I've been on the meetings a couple of okay. times so that's so, more just uh, informational for like it's just uh, just informational okay it would, so yeah. it would be nice if we had a spot on our website i noticed a community board another community board did this is they have they have their own little page on their website and on that site it was, an, it was like a, another environmental protection board like us, but I think it was it was in lower Manhattan, but they had a list of like links that were good for people to look up. Like if you want a tree, if you want to find, you know, the Rat Academy would be good. Like if we had a little list that we could just, you know, I think that would but be- they, But they usually have those um, information uh, letters that goes out on Friday. Yeah, but just for people like that would like contact us for for our particular, you know, for the EPA, like just have I, I, the site that I saw was just one page for the Environmental Protection Committee. I think it was CB2 in Lower Manhattan. The Environmental Protection Committee had a had a list of just things that related to the environment. One was tree pits, one, and you know, I don't think they had rats, but I think people are concerned about that here. So, you know, just so every, we could say like, oh, go look at our, our webpage and there's a link there for, you know. A resource page. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like if Yeah, we, like a, a general like um, in, information page of, yeah, that's that's a, that's a great yeah, idea. Maybe we can take a look at, at CB2 uh, website and see what, what what's on there. Yeah, maybe I, I think I might have saved it somewhere. So should we put that in long-term goals, developing um, an environmental resource yes. page for the community? Yes, a resource. Okay. I won't say a resource guide, but you know, some type of. Um, it was uh, just one page. Helpful links or whatever. Yeah. Just, mm -hmm. Yes. It was a page that kind of said, this is our goal. It was like, you know, a couple sentences. This is our, you know, it was pretty simple. And then they had right. the resource links. I just remember tree pits was one tree, okay. like how to get a tree, like that's something, you know, even if you do, oh, there's a ton of stuff you could put on there. Um, community gardens, park entrances, yes, stuff, you know, um, any kind of environmental yeah, things stuff. that people have completely have talked to us about would be good, like resources, you know, so how, even just like um, DSNY or uh, web page um things that, like we were talking about the agencies that we're going to reach out to so if we're going to reach out to them as an environmental protection committee if people were concerned about something with the environment they might want to contact them too yeah so like that's, that's easy that enough are, like, what do i do what do i do if they're demolishing you know go here what do i yeah. do i know they were going to do some classes about that too like what happens right we was okay. doing that right do you remember that you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, he did mention doing some classes with all of the um, community board members. Um, I know that he's been doing a lot of, because I get a lot of emails like weekly about things that's, you know, coming up or things that he's doing. So, yeah, so. I guess I'm not doing a lot in, um, get him. <laughs> Yeah. From Renoso, from who are you getting them? From Renoso. Oh, Brooklyn Borough President has a community board member, or has a has just like because you're on his list. No, he makes appointments of community board members. Yeah, he appointed me. Okay, yeah, he appointed me and as and, well. and Christine too, right? Right. Did he appoint you, Bishop? Miss Bishop? No, Crystal appointed me. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So the yeah, appointments are made by between the borough presidents and the council members. Oh, okay. So everybody has to be appointed by, by one of them, reappointed? I don't think I was appointed by either of them. I think I was appointed by someone on the community board. That's who I applied to. You, you, oh, you, 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 you're, you're a committee member. You're, yeah. yeah. 
So you could just apply and then you, you're yeah. right. You just, right. Oh, but have to apply. That's, yeah, that's what I year. did. I, I, you're right. I was thinking you were board member. Too. But yeah, that's how I applied. I just applied, you know, I filled out that form and then I was put on this committee last year. Um, so are we, are we in the, um, so for short term goals, just because I'm taking notes here, um, yes. we have, uh, I wanted to check out the Ebbets field with the SNY, the, the um, That's like, right. the, um, finding out how we get more rat boxes near construction sites, correct? Yes, um, yes. Following up on the letter um, to Crystal Hudson, Rita Joseph and Darlene. Yes. Um, any, any more short term goals? Oh, oh, yeah, we were gonna. Um, we were gonna to compile to note the um, ponding areas yes, and, and all the uh, outstanding um, issues. Let's make a day to walk around too. Okay, we can hold. Yeah, before it gets too cold, Debbie. We can do that. Um, you see, I'm hoping that everyone attends the meeting so that you know we can do it as a group and not just a few people. So, um, so okay, for, let's shoot for the next what, meeting. So what we can do, we can decide what would be, well, it would have to be on a Saturday, Saturday morning. Okay. What would be the best time on a Saturday morning to do so? And then try to figure out what area we would start with. Nine o'clock. Can so I, if like maybe the next meeting we can come up with something that would be good. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so yeah. So um, next meeting, if we can come up with um, a, a date and, and time for a walkthrough. Okay. It will be on a Saturday, but we just need to have a sense of what time on a Saturday because I know some people don't like to get up early. I like to get up at six o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock every day. So. <laughs> yeah, I get up kind of early. Yeah, we know Debbie. <laughs> I, I, I we do know it Debbie. Early <laughs> the day before noon. Okay. Yeah, um, so we can definitely do that. And okay. you know, kind of, kind of determine what area we're gonna start with. Um, if there's an area that's worse than another. You know, we can start there and try to work our way around. We could have a coffee clutch walk. You know, is that what they call it? You know, like you get your coffee in the morning or your tea. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, so then as far as long-term goals, uh, I have developing the, the resource um, list that we wanted to do for the, for the community board page. We we're going to check for the out. Web, for, right, for the website. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what else did I have? Um, Oh, I had, I had written down managing sewer overflow. overflow. Yes. That's, um, that's, I mean, that's really a population issue. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's a real problem in all of New it's York problematic. City. It's problematic, yeah. Um, so I don't know, I don't even know where we would start with that, but. Uh, well, I mean, then, I would, I would, I mean, I would, like I say, we are all in different areas in the community. So if we can take a look at, you know, different areas wherever you are or I am. I mean, I can look in my areas and can kind of get a sense as to where, you know, there's a lot of ponding or a lot of garbage that's going into the sewer. You know, just um, make a note of that and, um, you know, bring it forward. Yeah, when and the then fall, that's going to be when it's going to happen is the leaves are going to fall in this month and then, the rain's going to come, and then we're going to have flooding if that yes don't get cleaned. It was very if bad. If they don't take care of it, that's right. Yeah. So those are some of the things I'm trying to avoid happening because in wake of uh, the water that we couldn't control the last time, we don't need another episode of that. Yeah, and flooding. No way. Basements, yeah. yeah. To avoid that. Um, so any other uh, long-term goals? I think we have some big pieces already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it seems like a lot. I think I think oh, we, we don't want to 
It's we don't want lot. to take on too much right now. Let's just yeah, exactly. take on. Just recover well, we right now. Everyone was heard. That's all. That, that revelation um, of Ebbets Field is like <laughs> driving me crazy. <laughs> Thank you. It is. I mean, I can't imagine. Um, so then events, we had just mentioned something about doing something fun for Earth Day. Earth Day, yeah. Right. Earth Day, and, definitely. Uh, sharing like uh, cleanups, block cleanups, community garden cleanups. Yeah. Yep. All right. And that, was that um, everything so, you had on, on the agenda? Say that again. Was that everything you, you had on the agenda? I don't have it. Um, basically. Yeah, basically, yeah. The other things are just, you know. They kind of intertwine. For the monthly meeting schedule, what I wanted to do was ask people if the schedule that we have now, which is on first Thursday of the month, works for everyone. Um, but since everyone is not here, I don't know. <laughs> I know it's been working for the people that's here. Um, yeah, first so, Thursday is good. Yeah, uh, it's good for me okay, too. So that's fine. Okay, so yeah. Because there's all those other meetings, you know, if we wanted to go to the other council, there's a, you know, the, I, my block association is the second Thursday. So. Okay. Yeah, and then there's the, the third Thursday is that, what is it, the community council? Right. Meeting? Oh, the precinct council? Yeah, I like to go to that sometimes. Yeah. So this this is good. For okay, me. so that's fine. And then I also wanted to touch on attendance because that has been problematic. And I know that the chair mentioned it at the um, general board meeting um, uh, last week. So you know, I'm hoping that people would you know attend the meetings and um, so that we can you know work on doing some things in the community um, as a whole. And um, you know, again, we are missing four people. So hopefully <laughs> the next meeting, maybe they'll show up. I mean, last I year, Vivia, Vivia Morgan was also on the committee, but she never, yes. she didn't come Yeah, on. Vivia Morgan. And I know Matthew. Zachary Thatcher, I don't know Zachary. They, they removed Vivia because she didn't show up, you know, for the first like half. And then she wasn't there. She And, but, and Matthew, he, he was the secretary. I think it's the same guy last year, and he. Oh, well, Matthew Brumbach. I don't know why he he always came. I think. Okay, it's so the then I'm so pretty then sure, but I'm not positive. So I'll ask the board to reach out to them because I don't know what's going on. Yeah, and then and then I don't know who. And and real, I mean, they were all on the um, general board meeting, so I don't understand. Zachary Thatcher. Well, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think Zachary or Matthew was there, and and I don't think Vivia was there. But I know real, real Pierre Booms was there. Oh, I I don't know who he is. He was there. Oh, well, so I'll have the board reach out to them because I don't. I, know, I don't remember ever meeting him. So yeah. I was hoping they'd all come too. Yeah, he was at the meeting. Um, Debbie, you mentioned something about the bar service cabinet meeting. I'm not. I don't know what that is. So the bar service cabinet meeting is where all of the agencies, the New York City agencies, sanitation, the um, environmental protection, Department of Transportation, and all of these agencies come together to discuss issues in the communities. Oh. So this is why I say we can present that information to Dante and he can take it to those agencies. Oh, that would be great to get. So that's that. what the bar service cabinet meeting is all about. And that would be great to get the yeah the services that's there, provided that's in the EPA stuff. When is yeah. that? When is that meeting? Huh? When is the meeting? Is it happen after? Um, I'm not sure when it is, but I can find out um, when it is and um, that, that ask Dante us, to send that information as well to us. It gives us an advantage to meet early in the month like this. But it might be on it might be on the website. The borrow service cabinet and the borrow board meeting should be on the website. So, but I'll ask Dante, I'll follow up with the, the board office and find out whether it's there. And, and if not, I'll ask him to send us, you know, um, uh, the list of the dates when they're occurring. 
But it's usually the same time every month. And it's is, on is a Thursday Dante or Friday? Huh? Is Dante our guy in here? No, the Dante is not staff? here tonight. Okay. But one, um, staff members chair uh, doing the meeting tonight. One of the, the, uh, the staff. The staff member. I his, he's the new member. His yes. Name that they the, hired. It's Khalid. 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 No, Khalid. Khalid moved on. But but his name is the same, but it's just pronounced different. His first name. But we had Dante last meeting, right? He I was... don't remember his. I don't remember his name. It's spelled the same as Khalid, but I think he pronounces it Khalid. Khalid. Hello. Hello. Hi. How you? Hi. Hi. Hello, yeah. How How's do we pronounce doing? your name? So it's Ka Khalid. You see Khalid. K H A L I D. K H A L I D. Yeah, Khalid. Khalid. Yes. So any concerns? I can't answer them right now. I'm gonna have to go to um Dante to get. No, that's off. fine. That's fine. What's the last name? What's your last name? Jamot, J-E-M-M-O-T-T. -T. Okay, that's fine, yeah. Thank okay. you. May I have Dante's email address? Yes, just one moment. Okay. I'm, gonna okay. drop in the, I'm gonna drop in the chat for you. Do you know when the Borough Service Cabinet meeting is? I don't I see do, it. I do not, but I can find out for you. I can give you follow up with you tomorrow. Okay, so yeah, so if you can send that information to ask Dante or Mia to send that information to um, the Environmental uh, Protection Committee members, mm -hmm. that would be helpful. Okay, just one moment. I'll and give and you also, also while you're on the phone, um, yeah. you know what, uh, I believe Christine is probably going to send an email to Dante. Christine? I just need, yeah, I, just, I don't see a chat option here um so it, would you be able yes. to i'm gonna send you his email right now okay i'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to read i'm gonna have to read it to you because there is a no chat function there's right. another chat on here yeah yeah it would be good if if you could ask dante to send them all that letter too do you know right that? i was just about to ask christine if she's sending a, an email she can include that in there as well to ask okay. yeah um so that would also and dante is the person who has the the form uh, like the standard form for the minutes also? Is that who I would contact for, you know, like a, a general form? No, for... well, you, you would just do the minutes and send it to them. They would format it yeah. okay. onto the letter. Yeah. Um, Christine, you are you ready for the minutes? I am. It's, a, it, okay, it's so... the minutes for the October 6th Environmental Protection Committee uh, meeting, and they would format the information on the letterhead. Go okay. ahead. Dante's email is D-A-R-N-W-I-N-E at cb.nyc.gov. So that is D-A-R-N-W-I-N-E at cb.nyc.gov? Yes. Okay, great. And I'm going to send him an email um, asking when the... Um, our Ask service it. cabinet meetings happen. And for the letter and, send and the for minutes. the letter. Yeah. Okay. The May, yeah, of May 9, 2022. And he is the person who gets the minutes, correct? It's between him and uh, Mia. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Do you know this, this, um, borough service cabinet is that like just for a borough like just for brooklyn or is it for all of them at once like it happens in all the boroughs that meeting happens in all the boroughs so they're not like everybody from like manhattan and brooklyn and queens aren't together in one meeting it's just for each borough you're saying right okay, okay. so the sanitation uh unit for brooklyn would attend the brooklyn borough service cabinet meeting for Manhattan, they would attend the Manhattan Borough Service Cabinet meeting, and the Browns and all those other areas would be the same. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to move on to old business. Is there any old business? I think we, we spoke about old businesses already, already, because yeah. we brought up some of the issues at spending. So if anyone else has any old business, we can, you know, speak about it now or bring it up. If there's none, then we will move to new business. 
Debbie, I don't, I don't know how this fit, but I know that we got we received some um, garbage um, pails, right? Yes, uh, at the corners. Yeah, um, but we. I think we were. They were working on some more that was needed. Okay. I don't know where that is. I think it's pending still. Okay. I I I just wanted to know if we have a list of where are they in CB nine, the ones no, that Dante, they. Dante has I, a list. Okay. Okay. Check with him though. Check. Okay. A list of a list of where the cans were put. Yeah. Yes. There were yes. there was a list of cans that he used that move that extra money to buy, and then there was a list that um. The EP made last year of where people wanted them because it was it was changed again and again because more people want wanted them in different areas like recommended and there were some that were were placed that they found money for but there were still some outstanding and I'm, I'm not sure about those you know what was outstanding what was placed I know I remember Crystal Hudson used some of her I think capital improvement money and got a few but I, I don't know about any more, like what's happened or what the response was. That would be nice if he could give us an update, right? An update from Dante on the can situation. So so, so Christine can also include that in that email, requesting an update on the, um, you know, on this same letter, the information about that, where that stands. Um, and, and, yeah. and Debbie, for our walkthrough, we can just look at them to make sure they are there and see what's happening with them. Are yeah, there so garbage we, in them? Yeah, are they so being clean? Well, there would or be what? a lot of walking. We might want to get bikes because this is a pretty big area. Yeah, well, we're not going well, we um, to. We don't have to do the uh, whole we don't thing all, one We're day. not going to do it okay. in the same day, to, um, Teresa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said we should identify an area where we want to start. Exactly. So, all yeah. right. All right. Thank you. So if there is no other information, no other new business, I would move to adjourn this meeting. Second. Just one more. Yes. Christine, I just wanted to give you our email for BK09. If you could just email this email and just CC Dante. Yes. Okay. That's a good idea, Christine. All right. Let me know when you're ready. Ready when you are. So it's BK09-1 at cb.nyc.gov. BK09-1 at cb.nyc.gov. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Khalid. You're welcome. I hope I was helped. This is my first time, so. Yeah. No, that's okay. That's yes. Okay. Much appreciated. We are learning. We're we're learning. Here. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. Welcome, Khalid. Well, it is 8.24 p.m. And I'm moving to adjourn this meeting. Yes. Second. Someone already second. <laughs> Thank you. And welcome, Khalid. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, and have a good really night. Great meeting to you see too. you. Thank you too. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.